Hello and welcome to Enter the Multiverses, where we look at characters within the world of WB and see how they would work in the free-to-play game Multiverses. And today's character is a pretty odd choice to put in the game, and I can see a few people going against this idea joining the roster. Who is that character you ask? Well, it is none other than Dorothy. Dorothy Gale is a character written by author L. Frank Baum from the well-known novel series known as Oz. But considering this is multiverses, we will be looking at the Warner Brothers adaptation of Dorothy Gale from the hit movie of 1939, The Wizard of Oz, played by Judy Garland. Dorothy is a young girl from Kansas living with her Auntie M, along with her loyal dog, Toto. One day, a tornado actually hits Kansas with Dorothy and Toto still inside Auntie M's house. The house gets blown away into the magical land of Oz. And with the help of the good witch Glinda, and her friends the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion, they go on an epic journey to find the Wizard of Oz to see if he can help her find a way back to Kansas. If she were to ever join multiverses, trust me when I say, she's definitely not in Kansas anymore. More. So you're probably wondering, how would Dorothy even work in a game like Multiverses? A character who actually has no fighting prowess whatsoever. Well, don't forget, platform fighters tend to pull a lot of interesting characters in different situations, even characters who are not suitable for fighting. Multiverses still finds a way to use these characters in unique ways to best represent their fighting style. Not to mention, people were really against the Iron Giant being a playable character, because it goes against his ideology of being, well, not a gun. Even though there is representation of the Wizard of Oz coming soon in multiverses, it would still feel kind of wrong to not have the main character actually join the roster. But how would she work? Well, let's start off by talking about her class. Considering our last video was on our first tank character, it makes sense that Dorothy would be our first support character, and her fighting style actually best represents that. She will be a character who specializes in horizontal combat. Though Dorothy wouldn't really be punching and kicking anyone, as Dorothy isn't really a fighter in The Wizard of Oz, but that doesn't mean she is entirely defenseless. Dorothy's attacks do reference her story in The Wizard of Oz in some way, of course with her charge attacks on the ground actually representing the bucket of water she threw on the Wicked Witch of the West in the end of the film, as it is the one thing that Dorothy did actually do within the story to actually help her friends. Her combo attack could actually be a reference to how she skips across the yellow brick road, and while she's airborne, it's not actually her hitting the character, it's actually her basket getting blown away by the remnants of a specific tornado that took her to the land of Oz. But she isn't the only one actually actually in the fight, as Toto will actually be there to give a helping hand whenever she needs it, as Toto will sometimes come out of the basket and start biting the foes if you get too near. And the best way to understand how Toto would actually work is with her standard special which is just called Toto. As you tap the B button, Toto will just jump out of the basket and start running around the arena. You could control Toto by holding the B button and then moving the analog stick. And if you happen to get near an opponent, Toto will start biting him in the leg, doing some temporary chip damage, as well as weighing them down. But considering that Dorothy is a support character, one of the best attributes of Toto is the fact that when she's near an ally, Toto will give them a temporary defense similar to Wonder Woman's Down B. However, this does mean that people can actually hurt little Toto. Don't worry, he doesn't turn into a ghost like Jerry. He won't find it really happy, and if you hit him, he'll just run away. If Toto happens to run off the arena, there will be a temporary recharge before Toto returns into her basket. For Dorothy's side special, it's over the rainbow. This is actually one of the biggest attributes of Dorothy's abilities. Dorothy will actually lie in a specific situation, and a rainbow will appear right by her. This actually makes both for Dorothy and her ally to actually get temporary healing. Unfortunately, considering that Dorothy is a very kind soul, this also means that her enemies could also get temporary healing. However, to balance this out, only Dorothy and her allies will get double healing power, while her enemies will only get a slower healing ability. But she does have a different ability entirely when she's in the air, which is called Blown Away. A gust of wind will blow Dorothy in a specific direction, working exactly like Velma's side B. For Dorothy's up special, it is her most iconic moment within the Wizard of Oz series. There's no place like home. This will actually work similar to a move that Garnet can actually use. By clicking her heels, she'll actually leave a specific area marked, and if you use that move again, Dorothy will magically teleport to that specific area. This will work whether you're airborne or even on the ground. Dorothy's up special does have a limited time of uses. 
And just like other teleporting characters, if you actually use this near a foe, it'll actually teleport them closer to you, if the situation calls for it. And for her down special, it's called Glinda's Magic. When Dorothy uses this ability, Glinda will appear and give Dorothy and her ally a magical attribute. And that attribute is the bubble effect that Steven also uses. If Dorothy or an ally hits the opponent for a certain amount of times, it will bubble the enemy, similar to how Glinda always appears from a bubble. This attack also has cooldown. For Dorothy's perks, her first one I call Homesick. If Dorothy takes over 100 damage, her up special will activate automatically, and the teleport area will always be at the center of the stage. It's very useful for emergency situations. Perk number two, however, I call Toto, You Came Back. What this perk does is every time that Dorothy picks up Toto, or if Toto happens to return to Dorothy, Dorothy will automatically get a Greyheart health boost. And if allies happen to be near her, they also will get a health boost. For Dorothy's taunts, the first will have her pick Toto out of the basket and hug him. And yes, Dorothy can pet the dog. Taunt number two gives Dorothy a curious look, the same one she has when she realizes she's in a different world. Taunt number three will give her a scared look as what she's seeing might be terrifying, similar to what Shaggy has. For the costumes, the first one will actually make her entirely brown and white, not black and white. As fun fact, The Wizard of Oz was known as the first theatrical film to be released in color, even though the movie starts off in a black and white style. I like to call this the Kansas look. Color Palette 2 will actually give Dorothy a color palette similar to the Yellow Brick Road, which I happen to call Yellow Brick Dorothy, or the Yellow Brick Attire. Costume 3 will give her an entirely different outfit, inspired by the Emerald City. In fact, there used to be a doll of Dorothy that was sold like this, and it would give her the hairstyle she got when she was in the Emerald City. And for her legendary costume, it'll give her an attire inspired by another fairy tale classic, Little Red Riding Hood. As The Wizard of Oz originated as a book series, it would make sense that Dorothy would have a costume inspired by another well-known fairy tale. Plus, with characters like Iron Giant, we actually know that there are some designs that will be original to multiverses. And I feel like this makes the most sense to me. Here are the unique dialogues Dorothy will have with the characters within multiverses. And with that, we now see how Dorothy would enter the multiverses. In all honesty, yes, Dorothy is not a fighter. But I'm really glad they put a class like support in this game, as I feel like that best represents Dorothy as a character. Though Dorothy is a stranger to this world, it's the fact that she supported a lot of people who were there with her on her journey that made her a very strong character. It's her kindness and her ability to help others who need the most. Whether it be a brainless scarecrow, a tin man with no heart, or a lion with no courage, she'll happily bring them along on her journey to find their way home and see if they can make their dreams come true. And if that dream happens to have characters wanting to win a 2v2 match, I think Dorothy would help out in any way she could. Thank you for watching. If you like this moveset concept, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Also, check out my original series, Set for Smash, where I look at potential video game characters and how they would work in Super Smash Bros. We still have three characters I'd like to see within multiverses, each representing the other three classes I have yet to talk about. So tune into those characters, and if you have a character, costume, or unique dialogue you'd like to see, leave them down in the comments below, or let me know on Twitter or on my Discord server. And tune in next time to see who else would enter the multiverses. Yes.